Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the devil under import built-in function in Python, uh, which you know can be used in some cases. Uh, I'll actually show you the example where it came up and how I used it and some little tricks that I've picked up along the way. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into that. Okay, so this was on stream, I want to say yesterday, might have been, might have been the stream before that. Um, but someone in chat asked, uh, I have a string, a dotted string, and I want to import the module and look at the name of that value. How can I import using just a string? And we're going to be using the import built-in, python3-m pydoc double import. Uh, so pydoc is the built-in documentation tool for Python, uh, and you can inspect particular functions for that. So we're just going to open up the documentation for double under import. You can also view this in the browser as well if you would like. Uh, but we see that we have this double under import function, and we're really only going to be looking at two of the options today. We'll talk a little bit about the others, but we're going to be looking at the name option, which is, of course, the module you want to import. And we're going to be looking at this weird from list thing. Um, but yeah, let me show you the answer to the question, and then I'll explain what I did along the way. Um, so they had a string that looked something like this. They were looking for curses.color green, I think. Um, I recommended that they actually switch this from a dot to a colon. Uh, that way you can differentiate the module part on one side and the attribute part on the other. If you were to do something like os.path. Uh, join, for instance. So here you can differentiate that this is the module part and this is the attribute part. And uh, just naively, if we take that string uh, and we split it, so we have the mod part and the attribute part, s dot partition colon. Um, and actually, I did a I did a video about partition, so I'll I'll leave a link to that in the comments or in the description as well, so you can check that out. Uh, but if we split this apart, we get the module part, and we get the attribute part, and we can use this double under import. Um, thing to simulate the import statement and normally you would have to say you know import curses but you can't do like import dollar sign mod part or something like that like there's no way to like substitute the uh the variable there's no way to do a variable import using the import statement um so you use the import function and uh, if we take import and pass mod part into that you'll see that it imported the curses module for us now, we'll see in a second that this doesn't work as well for os.path, but let me finish out this example with curses first off. Um, so you can see that once we've imported that module, we can actually assign it here, and this mod is the curses module, and then we can use git adder to retrieve this particular attribute from curses. So if we do git adder mod adder part, we can get, well, curses.color green happens to be um, two. So if we did import, import curses and curses.color green, you can see that it is also two. But anyway, this retrieved this attribute from the curses module. Now, if we go to our os.path example, things are not going to work as well. Uh, if we use double under import, well, I guess we can do mod part two, adder part two equals s2.partition colon. And mod part two is now os.path and adder part two is now join. Part two is join. And if we were to run the import built-in on the mod part two, you'll see that we actually get back the OS module and um, this does not have the join attribute on it. So we would, we would run into an error case there. And this is where this funny little from list parameter comes into play. Um, we'll actually read the bit from the docs. Uh, the from list should be a list of names to emulate a from import or an empty list to emulate import name. Now this is a little bit, um, you know, hard to read here. They do elaborate on this a little bit. When importing a module from a package, note that import a.b returns package a when from list is empty, but it's submodule b when from list is not empty. Uh, this is the key part here. And actually the import function really doesn't care what you put into from list. And so I commonly do this, import mod part two. Uh, I will set from list to a list that just contains the string trash. Um, it really doesn't matter what you put here, uh, it just has to be something. And so if we do this now, you'll see that we actually retrieve the POSIX path, POSIX path module, which, uh, a little bit of implementation detail, but the os.path module is the POSIX path module. So just to show the difference again, if I have from list, we get os.path. 
if I don't have friend list, we just get the OS module. And so generally you want to pass this because of course you want the actual module that you got there. Uh, but if we do the skin, mod2 equals this, and then we can do get adder mod2, what was it, adder part2? Yeah, and so we can, we get out the join uh, attribute for that module. But yeah, so the, the friend list thing is important and a little bit weird, and this is definitely a trick that I picked up along the way. Um, I think I originally used this when I was writing a test framework when I was at Yelp called Testify. I guess I wasn't the original author, but I rewrote the import system because it was doing it was doing uh, a different way to get access to this module. It was doing, you know, the import to trigger the side effect, uh, but not actually assigning here. And then it would import sys and do sys.modules mod part two. So that's an that's another way to do the same thing. Uh, but the friend list is a you know a little bit more straightforward and uh, less kind of slingshotty. <laughs> Because like the, the way the, the reason I mean slingshot is like you or I guess it's more like a boomerang like you threw something out it did some side effect over here and then you reached for its answer over here. Um, but anyway, that's that's kind of the double under import function. There's a couple other things that you might use this for. However, I think they're super rare. Uh, first off, this is always ignored. The the locals argument doesn't do anything here. Um, the globals argument, I believe, is only used for relative imports. Let's see, the global argument is only used to determine the context they are not modified. Yeah, so it looks for like double under path if you're doing relative imports, uh, which is where this level comes in here. So if you're doing like, you know, from dot foo import bar, uh, this is an explicit relative import. And in this case, it would set level to one and it would determine the place to import from by using this this global attribute. However, I've literally never used this argument and I've only ever set this value to zero. Uh, in Python 2, I wanna say that is defaulted to negative one. Yeah, so in Python 2, in Python 3, this changed because uh, absolute imports became the default behavior. In Python 2, it tried relative imports uh, always or first or something like that, um, so level actually changed there. But anyway, that's the double under import function. Hopefully this was useful. Hopefully you saw a, a neat application of this and maybe you'll be able to you know, use this in your own code. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you guys have additional stuff you want to see, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oops. <laughs>